Now we're going to talk about some of the encryption technologies that customers use beyond the native transparent data encryption included in database technologies. Many customers use client-side encryption as well for things like field encryption and tokenization. I've created a synthetic web app for our demonstration and created a couple of keys for this web application. We've got one key to do tokenization, uh, looking at uh, tokenizing credit card numbers. And then I've got another key to do encryption on the name first and last name for this application. Within the application itself, we'll go in and we'll add a new customer. I've chosen uh, a credit card number from some PayPal test credit card numbers that I have out there. And I know that that's from the MasterCard bank and we'll just add this customer into this database. And we'll get see that I've got a query ID of two. So let's go look at and see uh, if we query that database, what comes back to us. Now I can see the name, but that's actually not included in the database. And I'll show that to you in a minute. I've included the UUID of the encryption key that's used, and this is the encrypted value, first name, colon, last name, and you can see that that is padded with the, the padding that's in that key. And excuse the label down here, but this is the credit card number that we just added. And then this is the tokenized value of that credit card number in the database. Now, the advantage of tokenization over field encryption is that it maintains my analytic value so that my analytics actually need something when we're done. Let's go look at the database itself and kind of see what's actually in the database. My application is running in a container, so we'll connect to the container. And I've got a little SQLite database running on here, so we'll connect into the database. And then we'll pull down the uh, rows from that database. And I've kept it small, so we just got a couple entries in here right now. And the second one, right, second entry is our query ID, so we know that's the row that it correlates to us. And we can see that, again, I have the key listed in here. I have the name and only the encrypted value of the name in the database. There's no actual real name here. I still have the real value for the address, and then I only see the tokenized value for the credit card number and then obviously the bank. So just wanted to show you kind of some of the technologies that are used beyond TDE when you're looking at doing compliance encryption for your database, things like field encryption and tokenization, and why many customers choose tokenization over in field encryption. So thanks for joining me again in Demo Corner, and back to you, John.